Okay, so this is how to use the Hashcat Advanced Password Recovery application. So you're just going to go to the hashcat.net website and download the file. You want to uh, download the first one, which is the Hashcat binaries. So go ahead and download it. I already did. Um, it's a zip file, so just extract it into your documents or wherever. Next, you want to create a couple files just text files, so create new text document. The first one we're going to name hash.txt where we're going to store the hash files. So open that up and to get the hash files we're going to use a hash generator just google hash generator and I'm going to use the type md5 hash and I'm just going to use the string password and get this hash copy and paste it into your text document and save it. So next, ordinarily you'd want to download a word list of potential passwords. Um, they give an example so you can see it's just millions and of possible passwords, but for this tutorial we're just going to create a document with our word in it, just for ease. So we're going to name it word.txt, and just go ahead and type your word in there, got password, save it. Now we're going to want to open the command prompt and change directories to the folder where you have hashcat. Just copy the address, paste it. So now we're going to type hashcat64.exe for 64-bit. If you have 32-bit, you want to type 32. Next we have the mode, so dash m. And to get the mode, you can go on the Hashcat wiki. See they have all the commands here. Scroll down to get the mode. And we used MD5, so it's mode 0. So, 0. Next we have uh, dash A, which is the attack type. On the wiki, just scroll down some more. We get attack modes straight combination brute force. Um, I'm going to use brute force which is mode 3. Which is 3. Next we're going to want to use our hash file. So we'll just go ahead and drag that in. And our word file. and hit enter and we can see that it cracked the password um, the first line gives the hash and then gives the password which is password you can you see all the information here the mode or the type now it's also saved in the pop file which is given in the folder that you downloaded so go ahead and find the hashcat pop file and it gives the hash and the password so also if you have multiple hashes it'll all be saved in there if you want you can also make your own file to output the passwords to you can find the command on the wiki as well as a lot more functions but this is just the basic how-to tutorial. So yeah, we're done.